So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to actually get an apprenticeship in engineering. Now, I wanted to make this video for a long time. Now, I'm not an expert in the field. I have worked in the apprenticeship market. So I actually hired people for apprenticeships in the engineering sector, but I don't have any engineering background, so to speak, but I know the industry well, I know how it operates, and I know the best way to actually get an apprenticeship. Now, there's a lot of things. I've made a few videos in the past um, that you can look over, but the engineering apprenticeships are slightly different. Now, depending on what you want to go into, it's very sort of high end. So there's the sort of research development companies um, such as BAE Systems. They look at people with, you know, high qualifications, um, you know, A straight A's in their A levels. They only look at those sort of companies from certain schools. Um, so they won't really be looking at everyone as a, as a majority. So there's different sectors you can actually go down, depending on if you want to go down the civil engineering route, or if you want to say mechanical or electrical engineering, um, you know, there's different, it's such a broad market. Um, I just want to give a few tips. Now, if I was, you know, searching for um, an apprenticeship, first thing I would do um, is join a website that actually is well known for that. So a trick I used to tell my um, candidates to do that were looking for an apprenticeship, if I couldn't help them out. Now, the first thing I would do is go on CV Library. Now, the reason I use CV Library um, is because they own something called Engineering Jobs. So their website is linked with them. Um, and a lot of companies go on there to find apprentices. So all you need to do is register on there, upload your CV. Um, I'll put a link in the description below so you can you know join on, add your CV on there, but put in the title you're looking for an apprenticeship. Um, now, what you want to do with that is, you know, seeking an engineering apprenticeship. Now, with that, employers will start to contact you. And a lot of apprenticeship providers use websites like CV Library to find the people um, with the, that are interested in the subject. Now, what will happen after that is you'll be invited. Probably you'll either be called or you'll be invited for an assessment day. Now, if the calls bug you, Obviously, you might not have had that professional experience. You know, I never used to use the phone. Um, you know, I use my phone daily at work, but I never used to use the phone and I hated picking up calls from numbers I didn't know. So what I would do is definitely put your email address on there. Now, if someone calls you, pick up the phone and just say, look, can I call you back in five minutes just to prepare yourself um, or just say, can I call you back later? I'm just a bit busy and um, don't ever miss the call if you can avoid it. Now, the reason I, I would do that is to help you be prepared. The person will probably call up and say, look, I'm calling from this and that company or this apprenticeship provider. I found your CV on CV library. Um, so most certainly um, do that. Now, with engineering, there's a few things that stand out um, as well. Just touching on what you can add to your CV. Now, you definitely want to put something along the lines of maths, physics, those sorts of subjects are really good. Now, in your sort of interests and hobbies, you want to put what interests you, not just, you know, you like watching films and you like playing computer games. Definitely put something along the lines of, um, you know, you like to build things, fix things, invent things. Um, name some books that are engineering or don't put textbooks, but put books you've actually, you know, had a look at or you've read um, and companies you've actually, you know, looked at as an interest. Um, desirable, definitely put down companies you'd like to work for as well. Um, and definitely start looking on the actually CV library and start applying for people and um, positions as well. They have, you know, I checked before, there's thousands of apprenticeships um, all across the country as well. So I would suggest looking at engineering is actually one of the highest paid, um, you know, apprenticeship sectors. I think it's like third or fourth. I did make a video on that as well. And it's the third largest skill shortage. So by that, there are, you know, it's one of the hardest things or for companies, for fully qualified people. And um, they can't actually find people. So they're looking for apprentices rather um, than fully qualified people. So this is the time to actually go on CV library, start applying and putting your CV out there. And companies will start to contact you rather than you looking for an apprenticeship. It's kind of a backdoor into it. Um, so definitely add your CV um, if you are looking for, you know, an apprenticeship. They do like people that are, you know, 18 plus, but they also take people on for school leavers. So if you are, you know, above the age of 18, 20, um, still definitely drop your CV on there 
um, apply and yeah so hopefully um, you can get some people and just leave your CV on there um, there's nothing really else to do um, just optimize it tweak it if you need any help with it um, definitely get in contact with me I'll be more than happy to um, have a look at your CV as well so I hope that helped good luck finding your apprenticeship in engineering as well